Alright. Okay, I'm going to open up. Because I'm going to take the product from the uh, uh, old site. And what should that product be? Um, and categories. And I got all these. Okay, we'll do this one. I think we that's an old one that we got. So we'll click edit. And we we'll to copy Kelty Red Cloud from here. Now we'll go to the original site. Click on products, catalog. Now click add new product. This is on the new site. And then we'll change the attribute set to backpacks. And then I'm going to put the product name right here. Okay. Now you see it puts it in a SKU too. So I'm going to delete this part out. Copy that. Move that down to UPS code. And put a KE for Kelty right there. And then I'm going to copy just the uh, numbers to put in the manufacturers and that I think the color was like wine or something I think I got it but I may not have uh, well, haven't added the right color in there so I'm just going to choose white the price, I'm going to click on price, price is 180, copy that, to the new one, uh, that's the front, no, it still has that, I did it, All right. copy, that was my mistake, to price. That's 180. The inventory. I think we got like two of those, but we want them to be the same. And then the website, I'm going to do advanced settings, advanced inventory. Yeah. So I'm just going to say. We have one of those. And I'm going to leave this alone because I'm going to come back and fix that. That's a woman's pack. Item weight. That's weight. I'm going to say 5.00 for 5 pounds. I think that's what I put in this one already. Come back up to general, and then I'm going to copy. It looks like this is a long description. And I'm going to copy all that. I guess I can use this, but it's pro I, I probably should be using control copy. I'm clicking content. It's the one on top is always the long description. That's that. I'm going to come over here and copy the short description. This is always the one on bottom. I'm going to go to the new site. 
short description. But then I'm gonna I'm gonna go on the new site and do search engine. See, I don't want this in there. It's too long. Short description, and then for the key, I'm gonna use this right here. And let's see, image and images and vi video. Since this is a new product, I'm gonna I'm gonna search for this on the web. I can search for this. I'm copying this whole thing because it's I want it to be exact. Okay, see bearing. Okay. Yeah. See it looks like I'm gonna copy this picture. Save image as whatever that is. I'm going to save it on the desktop so I can find it. And here it is on the desktop. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to rename it. Rename it that and we'll go back to the desktop properties because I don't want a stupid name like that. I need to be able to find that picture. Okay, okay, and then rename it. Then we'll go back to the site and I'm going to choose. Down here, images. Uh, make it small because, of course, I could have been easier if I do it on a screen, but on uh, two screens. But it uh, doesn't record right. So anyway, I added that image, and if there are multiple image, okay, it says go to base. So I'm done with that part. Oh, so I'm gonna save this so I don't lose my my place. You should save it before this point because you don't know what can happen. And so you don't have to do you you know your work down to nothing. And then I'm gonna fill in like the country for all this product stuff. It's going to be China. Okay. Brand. This is Kelty. As a matter of fact, I don't put anything in there yet. Okay. Let's see. Did I forget anything? Oh, category. Okay. Since this is a backpack, they're going to gears. Select backpack and then hit done. Okay, and save it again. And then you see this here. Okay, that means when it does that, it means saved. Now I want to make sure this shows up in the store. So we'll put one, one, two, one, six, eight. Well, that's going. Saved it, so I'm going to hit back. Okay. 
and you can see it right there. And I'm going to store this down. I'm going to hit gear. I don't know why it's doing that. Fix that, whatever. Oh, the cache got to be refreshed. Anyway, it's in the store. You can check through these. You see, it's been enabled. Main website. So that's how you add a product.